Hey everyone, my name is Sahil and in today's video, we will learn about the TNS earthing system. By the end of this video, you will fully understand the purpose of TNS earthing systems, its designing parameters, the ways to check if your property has an adequate earthing system, and finally, the difference between the various earthing systems like TNS, TNC, and TNCS. Let's start by understanding the purpose of this earthing system. The main goal of a TNS earthing system is to ensure the safety of an electrical installation and protect people and property from electrical hazards. This is achieved by providing a low resistance connection to the ground, which helps to dissipate the electrical current and prevent electrical shocks or fires. In a TNS earthing system, the electrical supply is connected to the neutral conductor and the earth conductor is connected to a metallic structure such as a metal water pipe or a metal rod that is buried in the ground. The electrical installation is connected to the live conductor. If there is a fault in the electrical installation, such as a short circuit, the fault current will flow through the earth conductor to the ground rather than through the electrical installation or the people using it. This helps to prevent electrical shocks and damage to the electrical installation. Let's look at the basic differences between various earthing systems. Just like TNS, there are several types of earthing systems that are used in electrical installations, such as TNC, TNCS, and IT. Each of these systems has its own specific characteristics and is used in different situations. The use depends upon the needs of the electrical installation and the requirements of local electrical codes and standards. Starting with a TNC earthing system. This system is similar to a TNS system, but in this case, the earth conductor is also used as the neutral conductor. This means that the earth conductor is connected to both the neutral point of an electrical supply and to a metallic structure that is buried in the ground. However, TNC systems are typically used in smaller installations, such as in single phase residential dwellings. Now, the TNC earthing system. This is a combination of the TNC and TNS systems. In this case, the earth conductor is used as the neutral conductor. And there is also a separate earth conductor that is connected to a metallic structure buried in the ground. These systems are often used in larger installations, such as in multi-phase commercial or industrial buildings. Next, let's look at the IT system. Also known as the isolated neutral earthing system, this type of earthing system is used in systems with a high voltage level. In an IT system, the neutral conductor is not connected to the earth or any other metallic structure. Instead, the electrical insulation and the exposed metallic parts are connected with the earth. These systems are typically used in power generation and transmission systems as well as in some industrial applications. If you want to learn more about these kinds of electrical systems, you can subscribe to our channel for more interesting electrical engineering videos. Now, let's discuss some important parameters for designing a TNS earthing system. First, the local codes and standards. It is important to adhere to local electrical codes and standards while designing a TNS earthing system. These codes and standards will specify the minimum requirements for earthing systems in the area, including the materials and the size of the earth conductor and earthing electrode. They will also specify the earthing resistance limits. For India, our engineers refer to IS 3043-2018 or the Code of Practice for Earthing and the National Building Code 2016. Internationally, engineers at AXIS also use BS7430-2011, which is the code of practice for protective earthing of electrical installations, and IEEE 80-2013, which is the IEEE guide for safety in AC substation grounding. Now let's look at the next parameter, soil conditions. The soil conditions at the site of the electrical installation can have a significant impact on the design of the TNS earthing system. For example, if the soil is highly resistive such as dry, sandy soil, it may be necessary to use a larger earthing electrode or to adopt special measures such as using chemical earthing. This ensures that the earthing resistance is within acceptable limits. The next parameter are the size and complexity of the electrical installation. The size and complexity have a big impact. Larger or more complex installations require a robust earthing system with a larger earth conductor and earthing electrode. They may also require additional protective devices such as circuit breakers or fuses. Finally, 
Here's how you can check if your property has a properly installed TNS earthing system. First, check the electrical panel. The electrical panel is located in a central location in the building, such as a utility room or basement. The panel will contain circuit breakers or fuses that are used to protect the electrical installation from overcurrent or short circuits. The panel will also have a grounding terminal, which is used to connect the earth conductor to the earthing electrode. If your property has a TNS earthing system installed, you should be able to locate the grounding terminal in the electrical panel. Next, check the wiring. If you have exposed wiring in an unfinished basement or attic, you should be able to identify the earth conductor, neutral conductor and live conductor. In a TNS earthing system, the earth conductor will be connected to the earthing electrode while the neutral conductor will be connected to the electrical supply and the live conductor will be connected to the electrical insulation. If this is how your connections are done, it means that your TNS earthing system is adequate. Please make sure to consult the property's electrical plans. The electrical plans for your property should contain information about the earthing system that is installed. Finally, consult a qualified electrician. If you have any concerns about the safety or reliability of the earthing system, you must consult a qualified electrician since electricity is very dangerous. At Axis, we have a team of 40 plus engineers who are here to help you in designing, installing and testing your earthing systems. Our products have been used in substations, data centers, factories and even in everyday residential and commercial buildings. I hope you now have a clear idea about TNS earthing systems, how they work and their designing parameters. Similar to TNS, there are other systems like TNC, TNCS and IT. Here's a video that will give you a brief overview about all of these systems.